Hello friends and neighbors and welcome back to the Luminous Journey. Thanks for joining me again this week and this week it's not about me. Last week we discussed my competition from all the smartphone photographers out there. This week I want to talk about what my colleagues are out there doing. So I want to give you my reaction to a sample of light painting photography. You're going to see some new things and I'll show you some styles I love and some styles that I'm not as wild about. Here we go. All right, let me start with a disclaimer. I have much respect for all the artists I'm going to discuss today. If I like something or don't like something, it's just my personal opinion. And that takes nothing away, I mean, nothing away from anyone who spent the time and energy to get out there and make their own version of magic. Okay, I'm a bad news first type of person. So I'm going to start with the style of light painting that doesn't turn me on. This is some work from the artist who uses the name Darius Twin. Um, I should say that he's tremendously popular. I'll link to his YouTube channel in the description. He's got over like 6,000 subscribers there. He's also killing it on TikTok with like 450,000 subscribers or followers. This is his photo. Stegosaurus. In space. I love the location. It's gorgeous. The eerie sort of bleakness of the image is, is great and the sky is incredible. The thing that I'm less enthusiastic about is, interestingly, the thing that has made him so popular. So I guess different strokes for different folks, right? The very intricate drawing he's made in the center of the photo overtakes the beautiful scene and demands all of my attention. I would love to see some softer lighting to enhance some of these foreground details. And if a future piece were needed, I'd like to see it a bit farther away, something that would blend into the scene a bit better. That to me would feel a bit less cartoonish. Definitely go check out more of his work. His website is below and let me know what you think. My next example is from an artist named Steve Sekilic. It looks like his niche is more in the events and architectural photography realm, but he dabbles in light painting as well. Now, here's a common mistake light painters will make. Doing elaborate and busy light painting and forget the basic elements of photography. But yeah, this photograph is cropped too low on top. Or, or perhaps the way the tripod is set up, um, making it look that way. And overall, not terribly well composed. The background is interesting enough, but there's just no need to have this much foreground at the expense of losing the tops of the trees and the night sky above. And in my view, light painting is best when it is just one element in a story rather than trying to become a story in itself. Let me give you a great example of that. This is some work by Eric Paré, one of my inspirations. Now, in these scenes, you can see that if you remove the light behind the model, this would still be a gorgeous photo, right? The feeling of space, of emptiness, the night sky giving that ancient and timeless vibe and a model perfectly placed within the frame to add that human element. All these are part of a winning formula that only gets better with the addition of the light, form, light forms he uses, which really draws your eye and make the model an even stronger subject of the piece. So this is what I mean by enhancing a scene, not overwhelming it. Another example is these images from a tutorial by Tim Cooper about the angles you should play with when painting with light. He does a great job of showing how light from the correct angle can bring out the textures and details in a scene. He also shows how the wrong angles can flatten the scene 
and just sort of make it boring. In these two star photos, you really can't even tell that it's a long exposure or that it's light painted at all. But you can see how much a correct application of the technique can amplify the subject. And in another photo of this beautiful old card in a Nevada ghost town, you can see how those techniques add a layer of interest to an already interesting frame. And uh, yeah, really bring the scene to life. My final piece is from a blog post by Janice Sid. I love the drama here. This is a great example of how a simple bit of light work can change the whole complexion of the photo. Um, like if we imagine this as a standard photo and um, yeah, like lit from the front or above, it frankly wouldn't be that interesting. But with the darkness framing the subject, a bit of light behind, taking on an almost ominous character and the simple lines behind the subjects, you know, giving them a ghostly feel. This photo really jumps off the screen. I really like it. Well done, Janice. I love light painting, if you still can't tell. And I'm so glad there are such varied approaches to it. Now, if I have to be honest, I would tell you I prefer my own work over all of these artists. I suppose a bit of ego is necessary if you want to conquer the world, right? Next week I'll do a similar deep dive into some of my work to show you what I love about it, what I will change next time. Show all these folks some love, check out their websites below. When you're done with the like, subscribe and notification buttons on my channel, make sure to go ahead and check out theirs too. Have a bright and focused week and happy holidays.